Heading into the 2021 season, the Dolphins' offense will need to play better in order for the team to succeed, but who are the top players on the offense? Last season, the Dolphins did enough to win 10 games but were stopped short of making it to the playoffs. This season, the team aimed to fix a majority of their flaws while building towards improving the roster around second-year quarterback Tua Tungavailoa. The team's expectations with its current roster should be playoffs or bust, especially since the team does not have its own first-round pick. The team will need to come into Foxborough in Week 1 and attempt to take down the new-look New England Patriots. No matchup will be better to push Tungavailoa and the rest of the offense. As for who will be the most important or most valuable, the Dolphins' offense features many key pieces, but these stand above the rest. The Dolphins made a plethora of moves to attempt to improve the offensive line and many hope it does not fall short of this improvement. It wouldn't be bad to say the Dolphins' entire season falls on the offensive line holding up and giving Tungavailoa time to improve, but there is reason to be concerned. The unit as a whole will have to play great this season to hit the team's aspirations, but it will take time to see what the actual group looks like. Expect the team to shuffle offensive linemen until they find the right group of five. 5. Jalen Waddell, the Dolphins' rookie first-rounder and sixth overall pick should see plenty of action in his first professional game. With the suspension of former pro bowler and free agent signee Will Fuller and the health issues surrounding the rest of the Dolphins' top wideouts, it wouldn't be shocking if Waddell saw a solid number of targets from his former Alabama quarterback. Waddell's speed, elusiveness, and athleticism make him an intriguing player that every team would herald. It's clear every NFL team is seeking their own version of the Kansas City Chiefs' Tyreek Hill. Waddell isn't Hill yet, but he has the skill set necessary to eventually reach that potential. The only thing holding him back would be the fact that Tua Tungavailoa isn't Patrick Mahomes. Although Hill was still a solid player with Alex Smith at the helm. Waddle and the addition of Fuller over the offseason should the team's priority in become more explosive and bringing on playmakers for Tagavialoa. With that in mind, it would be odd for the team to not give Waddle over 10 plus touches per game. It will be interesting and eye opening to see how Waddle is used without Fuller, but both of their games will likely improve when the two take the field alongside Devontae Parker. Waddle should have a big role in 2021, but in week one he should be the Dolphins' top wideout. 4. Tua Tungavailoa I think it's obvious that Tua Tungavailoa is the Dolphins' most important and most scrutinized player this season. But it comes with good and bad reasons. Coming off his hip injury in his final year at Alabama, the Dolphins took Tungavailoa over future offensive rookie of the year Justin Herbert with the fifth overall pick. At the time it seemed both would take time to develop, which was certainly not the case for Herbert. Tunga Vailoa sat behind Ryan Fitzpatrick until his number was called and looked good and bad at times. He flashed potential while also worrying fans. Tagavailoa is coming into year two with more weapons, hopefully, a better offensive line, new offensive coordinators, and more time removed from his hip injury and surgery. With a year in the NFL under his belt, Tunga Vailoa knows what it means to be a professional, he now must translate it to the field. Dolphins fans are all rooting for Tagavialoa, but what if he starts poorly and the Deshaun Watson trade rumors ramp up? What would Dolphins fans decide? For now, Tagavialoa is the starting quarterback and holds the Dolphins' future in his hands. The roster should be able to make a run for the playoffs and if the defense plays to the level they played last season, Tagavialoa does not need to be amazing for the team to win games. 3. Jason Sanders if you read any of my offensive power rankings from a season ago, you would know that there aren't many bigger Jason Sanders truther than myself. I absolutely love what Sanders brings to the table for the Dolphins. You don't have to be a football genius to understand the absolute importance that Sanders had for the 10-win Dolphins last season. However, let's break it down. Last season, Sanders went 36 for 39 on field goals which are 92.3% makes per kick. That means that any time the Dolphins got within the 50-yard line and failed to score or decided not to punt there was over a 90% chance that the team would walk away with three points. In a transition season where the team played with a rookie quarterback, walking away with three points over 90% of the time when you kick is just absurd. This season, the Dolphins shouldn't struggle to score touchdowns, but Sanders' ability to make kicks will be important. When the Dolphins did score touchdowns last season, 
they never failed to walk away with seven points. In 2020, Sanders went a perfect 36 for 36 on extra points. In 2020 Sanders made a total of 72 for 75 on all kicks meaning any time he kicked the ball he had a 96% chance of making the kick. Reliability is key in the NFL, and no player was more reliable for the Dolphins than Jason Sanders last season. 2. Mike Jasicki It's not difficult to say the Jasicki is Tungavailoa's top target, even the former Crimson Tide quarterback has high praise for the fourth-year tight end. Jasicki has improved as a professional in every season he has appeared and seems to be ready to be unlocked by the Dolphins. With a new and improved offensive skill group, likely the best the team has had since Jasicki has been drafted, he should find more open spaces. Knowing that Tunga Vailoa has trust in the tight end makes placing him at number two on this list fairly positive. At six foot six, Jasicki's large frame makes him a mismatch for most safeties and corners and too athletic for certain linebackers in the league. He should once again play a major role as a red zone target as well as a security blanket for the Tunga Vailoa. His receiving skills have never been in question, and he will likely have the most prominent role of his career in the area this year, but Jasicki's improvements as a run blocker has been the most important. If he is able to improve once again in the facet, there is no reason he should not play every snap this season. Jasicki's most important skill is as a receiver, but that's exemplified by the trust Tungavailoa has in him. 1. Miles Gaskin Joe Shad of the Palm Beach Post stated earlier this week that, Miles Gaskin has emerged as the Dolphins' three-down back, a role that the Dolphins seem to have failed to add over the offseason. Rather than overpaying for a back, or taking one early in the draft, the team decided to rely on Gaskin, Salvan Ahmed, and free agent Malcolm Brown. While this trio won't rank highly among any experts list, it should yield results for the team. Gaskin was the closest thing to a workhorse for the Dolphins last year and he was impressive. He finished the 2020 NFL season with 584 rushing yards, 41 receptions for 388 yards, and 5 total touchdowns in 7 starts. The small sample size might scare folks, but Gaskin exhibits the skill set necessary for the role for this season. He still needs work on his pass protection, but he is one of the Dolphins' top pass catchers on the roster and best rusher. What makes Gaskin the top offensive player is the many roles he can play for the team. If he excels as a rusher it should open up the field for the wideouts and Tungavailoa to excel. He will also be Tungavailoa's top checkdown option. Gaskin might not be a 25-30 to 30 touch workhorse in the NFL, but his importance to the Dolphins' offense shouldn't be underestimated and will likely be seen on full display for the entire season.